It's gone. I can't believe it. 30 years, and now it's gone. Let me guess. Your short-term memory. <laughs> my short-term memory? Please, my short-term memory. Who's the Mexican? <laughs> Sophia, what's gone? My purse. My purse is gone. Stolen by some thug. All right, all right. Now tell us what happened. I'll tell you what happened. The economy gets bad. The people get hungry. They resort to carjacking. Carjacking? Oh, yeah. I borrowed your car. <laughs> so they stole my car? With my purse in it. The cops say they could be any place because they had a full tank of gas. <laughs> you filled the tank? Oh, yeah. I borrowed your credit card. <laughs> I can't believe this. I better call the insurance company. Yeah, we should do something about this. Hey, you know what? Maybe I should teach a self-defense seminar. I'm a blue belt in Taekwondo. A blue belt? Yeah. You know, I could teach you some maneuvers. You could invite some of your friends over. I'm not great or anything. Terrific. A guy is coming at me with a gun and I can moon him. <laughs> How do I look? Mmm, fine. Fine? I spent three hours getting ready. Surely you can do better than that. I was thinking the same thing about you. <laughs> Roland. How do I look? You look nice. Nice? Rose, tell them how I look. <sighs> like a glimmering jewel, a perfect diamond in a field of darkness, flawless, spectacular, and stunning. <laughs> Thank you, dear. You're new to our little game. <laughs> well, I had better look my best because tonight I have a very big date with Bobby Lee. I don't know if I mentioned it, but Bobby Lee is a cattle, cattle baron, baron from Austin. Austin. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he is a cattle baron from Austin. And I have a feeling he's going to ask me a special question tonight. Oh, yeah? I assumed you were going out with him because it's your birthday tomorrow. Oh, wait, so that's why Rebecca's coming in. Yeah, that's right. Daughters just love to come watch their mothers get older. Oh, honey, I'm sure she's coming to watch you get fatter, too. <laughs> Well, I had a great time, as usual. <laughs> Lynch, th there's something I've been meaning to ask you. I'm 42 years old. <laughs> yeah, you mentioned that. Uh, so that means you were born in... Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, sit down for a minute, would you, darling? No, what I wanted to ask you is... Look, Blanche, I've been a bachelor too long. And shoot, you know, we laugh at all the same things, we have so much fun together, and we understand each other, and I don't know, maybe it's time to settle down. I think maybe it is. So, I don't know how else to ask this. Blanche, I want you to be my wife. Oh, Bobby Lee! <laughs> and bear my babies. <laughs> I just don't know what to say, what? <laughs> I, I, I want you to have my kids. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, believe me, I know I'm not a young man, and I know your biological clock is ticking. Tick tock. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is something I want to do right away. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, Bobby Lee, there is something I have not been totally honest with you about. Well, it seems that I'm... I know you're not 42 years old, Blanche. I'm 46 years old. Blanche. All right, I'm even older than 46. <laughs> Blanche, I don't care if you're 56. I'm not. I swear I'm not. <laughs> Blanche, I'm not looking for a 30-year-old wife. I want to be with you. And what I'm talking about is not impossible. You know, I've been a cattle rancher all my life. And if there's something I know about, it is breeding. <laughs> so l let's just let those doctors do all the worrying. You just tell me that you want to have my children. Oh, I do, Bobby Lee Taggart. I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good morning, everybody. I have an announcement to make. Come on. Listen. Bobby Lee has asked for my hand in marriage. And I accept it. You did? I did. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I do. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wait a minute. Wait, there's more. <laughs> he also asked me to have his baby. <laughs> and I said yes to that too. 
You did? I did. I don't know what to say. I do. You're old. <laughs> Sophia. What? She's a fossil. I am not. Oh, please. Come on, Blanche. Sophia exaggerates, but she does make a point. I think it may be too late in your life to have a baby. I mean, don't you think maybe that ship has sailed? That ship has sunk. <laughs> Blanche, this is because you lied about your age, isn't it? No. Well, now, at first I thought it was, but then Baba Lee told me about this grandmother in California that just gave birth to twins. Her husband fertilized the egg of another woman, and then they implanted it in her uterus. <sighs> Men. <laughs> Blanche, I don't know why you're doing this. I'll tell you why she's doing this. This is all because of her birthday. Every year, you try harder to stay younger. That's exactly why you're getting pregnant. This is not about my birthday, Rose. It is because I have met a man I really care about, and I owe it to him to try this. Yeah, but if you want to have a baby, Blanche, at least try to talk to him about adoption. Yeah, all right. I suppose that's something we could consider. Besides, where are you going to find an egg? <laughs> It has to be a human one, right? <laughs> no, Rose, I'm going to give birth to an eight-pound hamster. <laughs> oh, good luck trying to get that into a decent college. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Self-Defense Seminar today. I'm your instructor. My name is Roland Wilson, and I have achieved the level of Taekwondo Blue Belt. <laughs> okay, let's just settle down. Okay, we're going to learn some basic protective techniques. Now, did you know, for instance, that anything in your purse can be used as a weapon? I know, it sounds impossible. But even... <laughs> Okay, who threw the uh, estrogen? <laughs> Come on, tell me. We're not moving on until somebody tells me. Did you see who threw this, sir? I am not a sir. <laughs> Do yourself a favor. Okay, uh, before we get started, let's, let's get to know everybody. Ma'am, could you come up here? Oh, yes. Okay, what's your name, ma'am? Sylvia. Sylvia. And why did you take this class? Well, my husband worries about me. I go on the bus, and he says it's too dangerous. My husband says that I'm frail and old and just asking for trouble. And what is your specific goal with this course? I'd like to put the through a window. <laughs> I guess you're ready for the combat part of the seminar, huh? <laughs> and playing our attacker today is Mr. Chewy Castillos. <laughs> now, Chewy exaggerates a little bit because a real attacker usually approaches more cautiously. They might ask you for the time or ask for directions. Now, there's two rules to remember. Number one is volume. Don't be afraid to make a lot of noise. And number two... Never stop walking. If you stop walking, you're gonna be a victim. You'll all be my victims! Oh, all right, all right. Oh, just, just chill out, man. Oh. Okay, let's, uh, let's get started. We're gonna learn some basic techniques. Uh, are your pads in place? Hey, relax. I'm the Michelin man. <laughs> I got everything covered but my shins. <laughs> It was horrible, all these old hands coming at me trying to rip off a piece of me. Oh. All I could think of was, boy, that Julio Iglesias deserves every penny he makes. Hi. Well, how did it go? Well, Bobby Lee has no interest in adoption whatsoever. He wants children of his own. 
Well, you're just going to have to tell him no. I mean, where are you going to find an egg? <sighs> I mean, it has to be someone you're close to. It has to be someone whose medical history you know. And it has to be somebody who'll let you raise the baby. Mama! <laughs> oh, look, it's Rebecca. <laughs> Now, Mama, before we do anything else, I've looked and looked, and I can't find a birthday present for you. Aww. So don't make me guess. Tell me what you want. Name anything, and it's yours. Oh, honey, material things don't matter. It's what's inside you that counts. <laughs> Oh, good. I'm so glad you girls are still up. I need some advice. Don't wear puff sleeves. Make sure you look like Babe Ruth and drag. <laughs> now, get this. I asked Rebecca to help me have this baby. She said she needs to think about it. Can you believe her? Well, look, you can't get upset at Rebecca. I mean, this is a big thing. Uh, Maybe she doesn't have an egg to spare. <laughs> oh, please. The woman's an Easter bunny. No, she will turn me down because she thinks I ought to act my age. But damn it, I'm not old, and I don't feel old. You ought to feel under your neck. <laughs> Mama, there you are. Listen, I've been giving this a lot of thought, and I really don't think this is a good idea. Pregnancies can be very complicated, and at your age... Rebecca, don't you lecture me now. I didn't come down to lecture you, but... Have you thought about how you're going to raise this baby? The same way I raised you, I'll get good people in. <laughs> Mama, you're not helping your argument here. Anyhow, you know I don't think this is a good idea, but if you're really so sold on it, I'll try to give you what you need. Rebecca, that's wonderful! But no matter what you say, you're not a young woman. Now, are you sure you can deal with a little person yelling and screaming at three in the morning because she needs to be burped? I only do that on sausage night. Good, you're up. I can't sleep. Excited about the big birthday? Damn it, Rose, I told you not to talk about my birthday. I'm not talking about your birthday. I'm talking about Junior's birthday. <laughs> I'm pregnant? I don't remember getting pregnant. <laughs> you not remember? I went to the clinic with you. They gave us the early bird special. Coffee, Danish, and two eggs. You got pregnant too? What was your idea? You said anybody could do it. I guess I forgot about all the other stuff. I mean, the morning sickness and the varicose veins and the craving. You know what I crave most? What? Revenge! Hey! How could you do this Wait to me? Wait a minute, it my fault? How could you do this to my back? Oh. oh, yeah, you would think by now they would have come up with something to take the strain off our backs. Oh. oh. <laughs> Sophia, how did you get pregnant? I shook hands with Warren Beatty. You took me to have an egg implanted. I did? Oh, 
Anyway, it must be nice having wheels. It's nice, but you know what would be better than wheels? Brakes! Brakes! Somebody stop me! Somebody stop me! Stop me! Somebody stop me! Here, here, get rid of that thing. Sit down. Sit down. You got her? Wait a minute. I got her. I got her. I got her. Have you had the result of the ultrasound, Sophia? Yep, and there's good news. It's a boy. Oh. Oh. And he's 35. Oh. And he's a dentist. Hey, congratulations. Oh. Yeah, have a toothbrush. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, this baby has me a little queasy. Mm. Me too. Whoop. Want to feel a kick? Sure. How could you do this to me now? All I said was anyone can get pregnant. I didn't mean everyone. No, she tells us. What do you mean? Oh. I am so ugly. <laughs> You're not rolling. Yes, I am. I'm fat and I'm ugly. I hate myself. I hate my face. I hate my body. But what I hate most of these damn mood swings. <laughs> Blanche didn't tell you about that. And she also didn't tell you you're going to have to give up sleeping on your stomach. I'd give anything to sleep on my stomach. Well, that's not my fault. It's not like there's anywhere else you can carry a baby. I mean, is there? Uh... <laughs> to sit in a chair. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, this just didn't ride. Oh, I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. 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 Wake up. Wake up, sweetie. Oh. It's a dream. Oh, it is? Uh-huh. Oh, thank God. Oh, Rose, I think I forgot what it was like to be pregnant. Oh, I don't think I can do this. What if I never get my body back? Oh, you'll get your body back. It'll just be all stretched out of shape. <laughs> oh, no, I definitely cannot do this. You know, I never thought I'd say this, Rose, but I'm old. Blanche Devereaux is old. You are not old, Blanche. You're just too old to have babies. No, I'm old. And in a strange way, I feel free saying it, liberated by the truth. Well, then you just have to tell Bobby Lee you can't have his babies. Uh, well, of course I can't. I'm old. How old are you, Blanche? <laughs> old enough to know that you can't measure age in years. You measure it by the number of friends you have. How many friends do you have? <laughs> Forty-two. Excuse me, I'm looking for a Sophia Petrillo. Does she live here? That's her purse. Where did you find that? I'm the parking valet at the hotel next door. She left her car with us yesterday. She valet parked the car. Hey, that's my purse. That's the guy. That's the guy. Oh, that's that purse. Hey, ladies. Ladies, come on, please. Get your toys. Oh, good knee, Sophia. She just hit him like a... Ted, stop that. Ladies, bad lady, bad lady. Oh, there you are. Have you had a chance to talk to Bobby Lee yet? Uh, no, no, not yet. Oh, here he is now. Oh, Rose, I don't think I can do this. Well, honey, now you have to. You just have to, and I'll be here for you. I'll be, I'll be sticking right by your side. I'm glue, baby. I ain't going anywhere. <laughs> hey, a dime. Oh. Hi, Bobby Lee. Hi, Blanche. Honey, <laughs> listen, there's something I want to talk to you about. Yeah. It's, uh, it's about us having a baby, Bobby Lee. See, I, I, I just don't think that... Blanche, uh, I know what you're worrying about, and just want to tell you, we got to take the bull by the horns and just face it, it's, it's true. It's true? 
Then you mean you, you think that, uh, that I'm too... I'm sterile. I, I can't get you pregnant. <laughs> oh, Bobby Lee. Yeah, I went and got tested today and I got a really low sperm count. But it's not because I'm old. I'm not old. I'm not old either. No. <laughs> so I uh, guess you never want to see me again, huh? Well, honey, of course I do. But we don't have to rush right into marriage either. Maybe we just ought to face the fact that we're... That you are approaching middle age. <laughs> but hey, we can still have fun together. <laughs> that would be wonderful. Oh, no. <laughs> Boy, and to think that I got a whole freezer full of bull sperm at home. <laughs> well, water, water everywhere, huh, Blanche? <laughs> I'll call you later, darling. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Well, where is he? I want to meet the man that's going to marry my mama and father my baby. <laughs> well, it turned out that he was too old. He was too old. All right, I'm too old. Is that what you want to hear, Rebecca? That you were right in lecturing me because I'm nothing but a vain, foolish woman who refuses to act her age? Mama, I lecture you because you are a beautiful, elegant, intelligent woman who doesn't need to act like a teenager. <laughs> Don't you see? I want you to be proud of who you are. Because, Mama, I sure am. Oh, baby, I am so stupid. Here I have been working so hard trying to have another child, but I've got one right here I'll just never learn enough about. Rebecca Jean, how'd you ever get so smart? Hey, we're only as smart as our parents. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you're not my real mother. <laughs> Hey, come here, you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mama. <laughs> Thank you.